Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. If you are a new viewer, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you guys for returning to the videos. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to be talking about uh, some crazy stuff in Chicago, guys. I don't know what's going on with Chicago. But everything about Chicago is just screwed, guys. Chicago got some disgusting people out there, man, whether they're illegal citizens, even government officials, guys. And I just hate when people who got power use it for their own personal gain and their own personal benefit. You know what I'm saying? People who abuse their authority just sickens me, man. It's absolutely crazy out here how people like this just get away with stuff like this, man. And, it's, and they're blatantly doing it in our face like. And then when it comes to the police force in Chicago, Illinois, I don't know why they date. I don't know why they don't do psychic evaluations on police officers, but that's beyond me, man. But let's just get into this topic today, man. It's absolutely insane and it's sick. I'm tired of these sickos in Chicago, man. But a former police officer by the name of, I believe his name was Stephen Shaw. He was 32 years old and he was fired and stripped of his power as a police officer because he was charged with sexual misconduct while on duty. Basically, um, the woman who accused him of all this was at the police station and she claimed that he put his hands down her pants while she was handcuffed to a wall like this dude is absolutely sick, bro. And my thing is. People like this should be in prison. Like why? I have no idea why you guys will release this guy, but I'm not sure what the, I'm not, I don't know what the hell the Chicago police department was thinking when they released this dude. But I mean, these are just some of the worst people that you could have out there. The people that are supposed to be protecting us, but they're doing things like this. It's crazy to me, man. But if you guys think that's crazy, just take a look and take a listen for yourselves. This officer charged with sexual misconduct while on duty. 32-year-old Stephen Shaw made his first court appearance today. He's been released until his next appearance. Prosecutors say he inappropriately touched a woman arrested for shoplifting on Michigan Avenue while in custody at the 18th District Police Station. WGN obtained surveillance video last year of the woman being led into the holding area. WGN's Mike Lowe spoke with her after she filed a federal lawsuit on the case. They was just doing the paperwork, but I was just crying because I didn't want to go to jail. Oh, my God, it's really happening. Can't believe this is actually happening. Shaw's charges come after an investigation by the Bureau of Internal Affairs and COPA. He has been relieved of his duty. 32-year-old Stephen Shaw faces several felony charges after prosecutors say he assaulted a woman in police custody. The woman was handcuffed to a wall in a River North holding cell when prosecutors say Shaw made suggestive comments, then put his hands down the woman's pants. I'm not going to lie, guys. Really looking at this guy, he did it. I'm sorry, he did it. Look at him. Dude, dude that guy really looks like he gets boxed. Like, let's just be honest. He looks like he gets no box, like, at all. Like, dude, come on, man. That's an L on the Chicago Police Department, like, for sure. For absolute sure. And then it's like, shouldn't this be, like, on video? Shouldn't they have, like, video or evidence or something like this? So, t like, they would have, ev they would have, they should have cameras everywhere. I mean, it is the police department, but... That's what I'm saying. Like, these people be trying to hide everything, man. You already know how these people work. And it's like, sure, you fired him, but is that really a good idea? Is that really good for society to have someone who was a former police officer who just got fired, who was a literal sicko, and then you guys released him on the street? And then he's basically humiliated because now everyone knows, or now they're going to know, because, you know, people out like me is spreading the word. So I don't really think that's a good idea, guys, to let somebody like this on the loose when he's a weirdo. <sighs> oh, my gosh, guys. If you if you, listen, man, if we want better for our cities, we got to want better. OK, we are the ones that are electing these police chiefs. We are the ones that are electing these mayors. We are the ones that's doing majority of the crime out here, guys. We have to get we got to get it together, man. Seriously, because this is getting pretty bad and I'm not even joking at this point. Like this is kind of like this is like my second video like this week of, of some guy, whether he was an illegal, whether he was law enforcement, 
like harming these women. Like what is, I'm not no simp or nothing, but it's like, bro, if they got evidence behind this, I mean, this is actually my third video because you know, the video I just did, you know, the guy actually murdered his girlfriend and dumped her in the trash. So it's like, bro, y'all got to protect, bro. Y'all got to protect the people out here, man. Men, women, and children, guys. Like, what are we doing right now, bro? And then it's like, you guys don't even just realize you let a cycle on the street. All of those things I just said, that is literally the ingredients of a psycho. Oh, a person who used to be a police officer, he got fired or he got relieved or whatever you want to call it, man. You know, these people be lying. He got fired. OK, he's a sicko. You know what I'm saying? And he's about to get humiliated. He lost everything. Dude, I'm letting you guys know right now you're watching this video. Share this video because this dude is out here. OK, I'm not an idiot. These people are going to lie to you. I'm telling you and I'm showing you this guy is not good for society. So if you are in Chicago or if you are near Chicago, man, put this dude on a on a poster or something, bro, because that we're going to be seeing this guy again. I guarantee you guys. I, I mean, I'm not I'm hoping for the best that they lock just lock this dude up. But it's like, man, we guys know how these Democrats roll. You know what I'm saying? Like they try to hide everything. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like the this the the citizens should really be afraid, if I'm being honest. Like the citizens should just really be afraid of America because we got our country being invaded by illegals. We got we can't even trust our own law enforcement to protect us, guys. Like what is going on? Like I'm just like I'm confused and I'm lost. Our country is going uh, is going in the trash. It's literally just going straight to trash. And they're supposed to be held the most accountable. These are the people that are supposed to be protecting us. Why would you let him loose? He's supposed to be detained until his next court date. Why would you let him loose so he can make another action like so he can do another some sick twisted act? I don't understand why these people just don't use their common sense. Because if he does something like this again, who's that going to fall on? Is it going to fall on the victim or is it going to fall on the police department? But we all know the answer to that, right? I would assume so, but I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments, guys. It's like, what else are we going to do? They're, they're putting it right in our face, guys. They're letting everybody go. But they want they want to lock you up for a traffic ticket. They want to lock you up because you don't have insurance. They want to lock you up because what you what we're going 30 and a 25. What limit? Come on, man. This this is getting ridiculous. And I and I, like I said, guys, this Stephen Shaw, dude, he's out here. OK, so watch this guy. This guy is a sicko. You know what I'm saying? And then you would do this to a woman when she was handcuffed, bro. That says a lot about you, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, gross. Just gross, man. But anyways, guys, I might do a live stream later on when it comes to the uh, Dexter Reed shooting. I'm going to be doing, going live, I believe, like around 6.30, 7-ish. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get stuff together. But hopefully you guys join the live, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm out. Peace.